Thank you very much for your presence at my lecture this evening. I'll try to discuss my basic creative conceptions. This is the intellectual orientation of a single individual who was born and who had grown up in a specific historical cultural and ethnographic environment. I am sorry for my not good English, but I promise you I will correct it while I will come again. At first, I should like to show you some slides of my, and uh, give some information about my country, Georgia. Georgia is situated on the border of two continents, of Europe and Asia, between the Black and Caspian Seas. Uh, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, and between is Georgia. It is Georgia. Georgia borders the main Caucasian range from the north and Turkey from the south. It's washed by the Black Sea from the west. The area of Georgia is only 70,000 square kilometers. The mountains occupy a third of its territory. The population is about five and five million. About 12,000 reliefs of the past are situated on this small territory. Archaeological finders testify that a primitive man inhabited the territory of Georgia in the Paleolithic era. era. Many settlements belonging to the Neolithic era, especially to the Age of Bronze, are located here. In 337, Georgia adapted Christianity as an official religion. The earliest surviving Georgian written, written relics belong to the 5th century. I would like to remind you that 3,500 languages are registered in the world and only 14 written languages, alphabets, are known. Arabic, Greek, Jewish, Ethiopian, Japanese, Indian, Korean, Latin, Latin Mongolian, Syri Syrian, Slav, Syrian, Chinese, Armenian, and Georgian. Building of central dome temples began in uh, Georgia in the second half of the sixth century. Temple Jwari Cross is one of the first churches of this type. Eleven twelve centuries are the period of the Georgian Renaissance. In this period appear Georgian poetry a poem the Night in the Panther Skin by Shota Rustaveli, magnificent models of wall paintings and uh, uh, miniatures were created. Gold meaning was developed particularly intensively. This is monument of 11 centuries. The history of Georgia is paleodoscopic change of wars and short uh, peaceful periods. In this condition, the rulers permanent, uh, pres uh, pres permanent prescription was to build fortresses, 
signal and watch towers. Even today, they impress with their power and building techniques. Many cave complexes in uh, monastery towns were built in the epoch of uh, mutual feudalism. House fortresses and house with uh, uh, defensive towers of the mountainous regions take a special place in the architecture of Georgia. The forest of towers of Svanetia much impressed travelers. The cast houses differ in uh, local peculiarities and reflect hard historical uh, fortunes of the nation. The necessity of defense against foreign enemy in testing uh, war, exiting all tradition of bloody feuds. Ushguli, uh, right uh, slide, the most uh, elevated settlement in Europe is located uh, at an altitude of uh, 2,700 meters above sea level. More than 1 million and 300,000 people live in Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. It has been the capital for more than 1,500 years. I should like to mention that during the last years, the town council um, allowed a lot of uh, uh, resources for the reconstruction of uh, the old city. This is almost all what I wanted to say to you about Georgia in a short time. My uh, lecture subject is modern architecture, architecture in the context of national culture and psychology. I'll consider this problem taking the examples of Georgia. I realize that in today's highly developed world, given contemporary scopes and means of communication, the words national, regional are to a certain extent seems as a synonym of backwardness and uh, uh, views uh, 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 use. However, a closer consideration of one's cultural traditions does not run contrary to the creation of modern art. The question arises, today, under the co uh, condition of wider information and active development of uh, cultural relations, which in the, their turn amend national psychology, character of peculiarities of life, what are the distinctive features of a frame of mind and disposition that can have an influence on the architecture. We stress inherited from the history have an influence on molding the national character. The hard historic past traversed by Georgia and the treat of physical annihilation have formed the peculiar features of the uh, re rela relations between nationalities, a loyalty, a feeling of compulsion, and mutual support. The materialized evidence of this tradition is an old, uh, age old, peaceful coexistence of Georgian Orthodox and Armenian Gregorian churches synagogue and mosque on a small square in Tbilisi. 
Of course, this fact cannot be explained by architectural diversity. Its basis lays in psychology, in philosophy, in the way of thinking. The evidence of it is the fact that residential districts, Ubani, in Tbilisi, in Kutaisi, and other towns of Georgia were formed of yards, multinational in structure rather than by national and religious belonging. Georgian national character cannot get on with the dissociated, secluded own life. So, for some people, it is the same, the prior respect tradition as the uh, longing for communication and keeping cows with others is for us. The conception, my home is my caste, is a alien to us. Of course, it does not mean a call for the old communal hostel, for the common common house of the twenties. We sympathize as the architectural environment, notable for its high communicability, the environment which units and provides a co-residence of people. It is our tried and tasted during centuries good tradition. A task of fashion, uh, fashion sharing or communicability of architectural environment as a program objective was set by me in the design of the Palace of Culture in Poti, 1975. <coughs> And later in the competitive design of the Historical Ethnographic Museum in Sokovi. Interstatial contacting with the environment spaces were intra introduced into the designs. These elements are neither an interior nor an exterior in their traditional understanding. Due to the large glazed front of these spaces, one can see all movement and life dynamics inside the building. The visual contacts with the square located at the first level are realized through the irrational slots in palace, uh, in the palace of culture in Poti. A task of questioning uh, for communicability of architectural environment as a program objective was set by me in other designs too. But where are they are? These slides are To create a functionally correct, even a uh, artistically attractive building connected with the town by physical essence, essence only is to extremely restrict the task such at first glance a harmless, a harmless approach inevitably leads to great architectural errors and as a result a town being an integrate lovely organism passive, uh, passive outlookers rather than the organizers of the diverse town life. There is no doubt that the atmosphere of a town space, the character of public buildings Sporting and cultural units are very important for human communication, but from this point of view, the dwelling environment was and still is a, a, a paramount in, in, important. The traditional dwelling cell of a Tbilisi yard, surrounded from three sides by the tires of balconies 
Uh, this is uh, power subculture report. Uh, I was talking about it. Uh, 1975 design. Uh, this is uh, uh, historical and ethnographic museum in Suhumi. Black seaside. Uh, 1976. Uh, this is sanatorium in uh, Nukalakevi village. Uh, 250 beds. The traditional dwelling cell of a Tbilisi yard surrounded from three sides by the pillars of balconies was a sort of an arena where the life of many families of different nationalities was going on. The yard actually was an integrated large family where everyone was trying its best to take into account the interest of others. This was the basis of coexistence. The planning principle of this dwelling cell, in short, was individual and collective interest of each family, of each individual. Even now, many elements of Interfamily collective managements are preserved in modern Georgian villages. This way of coexistence makes the life of an individual more secure. It has a great social immunity or molding of the harmonious individual. Felicity. <clears throat> Reflection of national character in architecture. There cannot exist a settled once and for all the national character. It changes Eventually, the national character is also not uh, the absolute, the virtue of everyone. So some common features can always be found in it. This is how my friend Kisho Kurokawa, the prominent Japanese architect, summarized the national character of the Japanese. The main thing for a Japanese is the sun above, the garden at the window, and the sensation of the sound of the rain. Perhaps I will not be able to describe the peculiarities of Georgian character so briefly, but I will try to best my best to answer this not easy question. I have already mentioned the internationalism, openness, and communicability as historically formed character of the Georgian people. There is something festival. Theatrical, and even sometimes ostentatious, ostentatious Georgian character. These features are best expressed in cult buildings and popular dwellings, especially West Georgia. Lack of rationalism. Predominance of form over function. The requirements of the spiritual satisfaction has the rationalism. This is expressed both in the social life and in the art. Here is an example. The cult of a pure yard 
has its stand in West Georgia since all time. A yard in front of the house, which sometimes occupied one third of the plot, does not uh, perform a direct utilitarian function. The pure yard serves as a sort of a sign, a symbol of the family. Its principle principal fun function is an aesthetics, an effect, a delight, an invitation. The poor yard tradition has be be become uh, so strong that during the hard World War II years, the cases of use of this part of the plot for agricultural plants were extremely rare. My long preamble can shortly be formulated as follows. Architecture as a social art should be up to date and express the spirit of a place, the spirit of a nation, the spirit of a country. But how can we attain this goal? It is attainable at all. I don't claim to produce a desire for all, but I will tell you about the method I applied and some instances for my projects. Practice. This method is, I call the method of context. Architects who adhere to close links between the present and the past, to li liaison with traditions, with the spirit of the architecture of a uh, a certain place and uh, view this uh, li liaison as an uh, independent and continuous process, use the same term. To me, context does not mean balance of scale or st stylistic compatibility. At first, it is preservation and if it is possible, development of a new emotional register of the atmosphere, ambience, ambience of the aesthetic, architectural, and landscape situation. It is great professional honor for any architect to succeed in activating the emotional potential uh, dormant in an old urban situation and impart to it new impulses of aesthetic influence. To me, context does not mean adherence to this or that style. It's formal indicators, but revival well, of those features that uh, define the atmosphere and mood close and understandable to us. Often, this atmosphere is determined not by a single building, but by the whole urban environment. For instance, the atmosphere of Old Tbilisi or Swanedi, specific constructions of Kolkish or ancient Swanedi, the mood conveyed by Melnik or Veliko Tirnova, Samarkand or Suzdal. Example, on the left, on the left, on the screen, an ordinary countryside of the lowland of Georgia. On 
copyright my project of the cultural center of the village of Tsunkuri. The method is the, that of evo evoking one's memory, remembering old villages. On the left, there is a traditional house of a peasant in mountainous Hepsurete. On the right, my interpretation of modern residential house for this region. It is of great importance that new architecture in accordance with modern tendencies should be presented to the people in such a way that he should feel a continuous relation to the past with the spiritual and material culture of the nation. To provoke such emotional sensations in a man is one of the main tasks for me. The architectural image of the museum, the Hunter's Village, the Museum of Georgian Nature in Tbilisi, some have arises associations of the mountainous villages of Swaneti and Omalo, with some parts of Ujguli and old villages of Kaheti. This is Hunter's Village, the Museum of Nature of Georgia. It is under construction. A small church or a fortress on top of a hill or a mountain is a characteristic scenery for Georgia. We are accustomed to this. I attempt, attempted to revive this uh, familiar emotional atmosphere on a new level. This, this is characteristic uh, landscape and view of Georgia. That's uh, my memorial Algeti Basilica. We are, I, I attempt to revive this uh, familiar emotional atmosphere on a new uh, level. This memorial is called Algeti, the Algeti Basilica, and it is dedicated to the builders of the irrigational system and uh, the artificial sea. The sea is behind the mountain. It is a uh, 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 this uh, memorial we uh, win. Uh, international Prize of Biennale in Sofia. Memorial for the city of Smolian, Bulgaria, the Rhodop region. This is the territory of the ancient Greek cultural influence, the birthplace of peace of Orpheus. Smolian is a completely new city without of any architectural styles. It was built some 30, 40 years. Unfortunately, here nothing revives the memories of its magnificent past. By my work, I try to remind the memory of its history. On the screen, you see a memorial ensemble in Kutaisi. It is dedicated to man's creative and uh, physical abilities. Above, I mentioned the presence of the festive, the theatrical in the Georgian nature. True, those features are to be found in our actual life. This fact is especially perceptible in one of the most ancient towns of Georgia. Kutaisi Memorial represents a kind of stage 30 
the matter in diameter exposing five sculptures. The architectural uh, setting alongside with its pedestals stays permanently. The sculptures are reflected uh, uh, every three uh, years, changed every three years. I succeeded in uh, realizing this uh, principle of a memorial being each time born anew, in a new form, being permanently contemporary. The main result of this principle is setting up a museum belonging uh, solely to the memorial. The place is always crowded. Different public rituals are often held there. On the artistic plane, one should mention the variety of interesting, changing sequences. Multi-plane and special, the memorial is open, accessible, festive, reflecting the spirit of and mood of the city. And now, if you don't mind, I'll take an opportunity to show you some of my buildings and projects. Historical and Ethnographic Museum in Mestia, Mountain, Georgia, designed 1971-1972. Country House in Sagareggio, Post Georgia, 1970-1971. Art Center in Gulrivs, West Georgia, Lexi Site, Reconstruction Expansion of the existing church, 1981-1982. Exhibition Hall of the Cultural Fund of Georgia in Tbilisi, under construction, designed 1981. Bakery in Tbilisi, designed 1983. Realization in 1988, Honored Grand Prix of all Soviet Union competition for the best building of the year, 1989. Gold Medal of Union of Architects of USSR. Artis Atelier with exhibition hall in Kutaisi, designed 1986. Scientific uh, Laboratory for Study of Karst Caves with dwellings for scientists in Tsunkuri Village, designed 1986. School of Gifted Children, uh, Mathematicians, Mathematicians, Mathematics in the uh, Shashaleti village, designed 1988. Sanatorium complex for 250 beds for Georgian Technic University for our university in Kikati village, near Tbilisi, designed 1990. And uh, the last work designed, hotel for one 180 beds in Tbilisi, 1989. Medal and first uh, degree diploma of the All Soviet Union competition for the best design of the year, 1990. One family house in the village of Dolachauri, designed 1990. In my life, I had to design and build many monuments and memorials. Majority of them dedicate this to memory of World War II. 
you already have seen some of uh, them when I have spoken about context. I'll show some others now. Memorial of Sailors in Poti in collaboration sculpture Amashu Kelly, 1978. Memory Camp in Mukhrani Village, 1981. Uh, from this village, it's a, a small village, and from this village, uh, there went uh, to war second, uh, war second, uh, about 500 young people and uh, came back only 150. This is symbolic class. This for all they were, were very young and somebody was schoolboys. Uh, this is interior. Uh, central alley of children forest park at Maltakwa Health Resort. Lexi site, 1985. Elada Station of the Children Railway in Maltakwa Town Forest Park, 1985. Some uh, gravestones. This is model, this is uh, realization. This is a very, very famous actor, dramatic actor of Georgia. <laughs> this is my friend's grave stone. Unfortunately, my friend's grave stone. Uh, uh, maybe somebody heard about a uh, very famous Soviet goalkeeper, Yashin. Lev Yashin. It's a gravestone of Lev Yashin in Moscow. Memorial Pillar of Life in Udabno village, 1982. Ceremony of uh, uh, annual of the memorial. Here you see the uh, uh, ex Minister of Foreign Department of USSR, Edward Shevardnadze. By the way, he was present on the ceremony of Anvil of Other My Memorials too. The Memory Cube in Senaki Town with sculpture Melikishvili, 1983. Tears despair, broken dreams, darkness, violence, pain, this is war. The memorial in honor of the Harshid in the 9th of April 1989 in Tbilisi. On April 9, 1989, at Four o'clock in the morning in Tbilisi, in the square in front of the government building, the peaceful meeting was broken up by the army. Twenty innocent people were killed. Sixteen of them were women. The youngest was twelve, and the oldest was seventy years old. Several hundred people were poisoned by gas. About 50 had very serious depression. depression. It was a cynical slaughter of all human and spiritual values that mankind has created in its long history. This is the very scene of my memorial. Thank you very much for your attention.
Thank you very much.